Hi folks, I don't uh, generally do any reviews or anything like that, but <coughs> what I'm going to do here is a, uh, a reverse reverse install of this uh, dual action switch from eBay on a, a 501B Ultrafire LED flashlight, it's a 1000 lumen model. It's got a mount on it. Um, the dual action switch seems to work fairly good. That's the uh, on off switch, like it's not a pressure switch, it's an on off. Each time you turn it on and off, it comes on in the next mode, just as it would with the uh, regular button switch on the back. Um, it has the same function as the button switch on the back with the with the slight pressure depress depressing of the switch to go between the modes while it's still so you're not actually actuating the switch. And on the other end on the other end, this end is the, the on off switch, and on the other end is your regular pressure switch, which with this model torch flashlight, it cycles through the modes as well, but it needs to be held down to work. Um, the way that the the item from eBay is fitted to the torch is that um, the existing switch it has a metal contact there which, which is the center of the negative of the battery to the outside casing and the uh, rubber cap for the switch take them out of this housing and, and put this in. Okay, so I'll, I'll go backwards and do that. What I've done, I've made a dummy battery from a piece of PVC, PVC pipe, some bubble wrap, a bolt and some uh, electrical tape. This dummy battery allows me to use one rechargeable um, one of these rechargeable batteries rather than the lo longer one which I don't have any of at the moment but I am getting some these, these ones fit into the uh, laser sight and, and some flashlights. They go in positive end in. Dummy battery. Now to the switch. You can see in the end of the switch there's a couple of um, a couple of holes in this ring that screws into the same thread that screws onto the end of the torch and so what I did was I just take the screw from the screw and very carefully so it's not to damage the shred loosen loosen that that screw or threaded washer washer with an outside thread out we'll take that out of there and sort of holes or divots in one side partial holes in one side you could use a pair of um, circlip pliers 
or um, some other such thing. Do that. This one wasn't tight, so I could easily get it out with a roofing screw or a small screwdriver, even. Very, very small ended screwdriver would also work. So. have to alternate between the two holes if you're only using one thing because it can cause a wash of the cock and lock on the, on the thread. Okay, so I found that when I when I want to put it in to the end cap, it, the uh, the plastic insert here. It was a nice tight, nice fit in the end, so you've got to kind of, when you first put it in, you've got to kind of make sure you got it in there. And then when you put this back in, the important thing to remember is that you don't want to cross thread this washer at all, ever. So you only ever want to use a very small amount of force trying to screw it in and try to make sure that you got it straight. Which is, can be a bit of a pain. Especially if you're holding it the wrong way. Go backwards a little bit first. You can easily find a spot where you can easily screw it in. You don't ever want to try and force, force the thread. That screws down on the circuit board for the, for the switch, for the, for the uh, wires for the switch, which makes contact with the outer thing, and that's how it works. And go ahead and change this back because I actually want this. flashlight to use in my hand for a while. So what I'll do is I'll put the rubber easy. Um, you, when you when you take that switch out that little metal tab can cause the uh, switch to cock in the housing to one side and so 
you need to point the sod that the little tabs on and push it to push it out first so as it don't get hooked up and put it on it. Okay, so this is the dual action switch from the eBay. Um, I might put a link to the to the actual item. I'll be wanting this for uh, infrared and illuminate. Five by one illuminator. Thanks for watching.